I'm really happy with my results after two years of working really hard for my A-levels. I feel it's really paid off and with the support of the school I've managed to be able to do what I want to do. Yeah, I'm going to uni to do accounting and finance. I'm off to Durham to do sports management. I'm going to university to study history. You have like this plan, like your head of like where you want to go in the future and it's nice to see like the steps getting there and it's like you're like one step closer, it's like your goal that you want in life. I'm happy to be going on to doing an apprenticeship next year um, in business and management with a firm called Atkins. I'm going to try to be an airline pilot. I'm going to Sort of not have a gap year, but have a, a year where I focus on my current flying, what I'm doing already, which is I do a lot of gliding. From confirming my results, I've now got a trial shift at uh, Pinewood Studios in November, which will be really fun. Um, I eventually want to go into acting if I can, and if not, I'll be doing a degree apprenticeship next year. So I plan to travel around South America in a few months, so the following, so in 2024, so around Feb time, I plan to go for a few months. and. That will be an experience, you know, making new friends, seeing new people, seeing different cultures sort of thing. But also, what I think will be valuable is the six months prior when I'll be working full time, one or two jobs will help me develop as a person. So I'm going to Durham to study biological sciences, which is biology, but it's got a little bit of extra things. So a bit of like biomed, a bit of extra science thrown in. Um, no idea what I want to do after that, but I just have such a passion for biology and science and I love that understanding about the world. And I just love that my A-level results have let, let me to go on to say something I'm really, really passionate in. So originally I was very set on going to uni, but I did Young Enterprise and I was managing director for our company and this really helped me to learn more about myself and what I wanted to do as it helped me to work alongside my business A-level and also doing it practically, which really helps my A-level being able to have something practical to link it to while answering exam questions and everything like that. The school helped me massively with figuring out where to go and what sort of courses I should be looking at and how to find out more about the courses and all of that. So it was really helpful having those people around me. And we were also both in the cross-venture editorial yeah. team. Uh, so we got to work on like political articles and history articles and it was just nice to have something that you could sort of be in charge of. It gave yeah. us a chance to have leadership within the school. Yeah. It's very good. And also the fact that you could just like research and write your own articles about what you wanted. Like it wasn't directed. If there was something you saw in the news that you found was interesting, you could just write an article about it. I've seen the school develop its sporting, you know, abilities and teams, but it's been a big part of my life as well. As in I've always been a rugby player and I've played every single year since coming to the school. And just the building around the teachers, the coaches, the players, helping us, helping me develop as a team player, but also a leader. In the career that I want to go into, drama's been absolutely like, unbelievable throughout the whole school. Um, obviously, you've got the Centennial Theatre, uh, which to get the opportunity to perform on, or even stand up and just speak in front of you know, assemblies and things like that is something you don't get at other schools. I've done so many extracurricular stuff through my time in school. Um, I'm quite a key musician. I've played saxophone in the big band. I used to play an orchestra, I was in the choir for a while. I've done um, various different bits and pieces. And I think music's really given me the skills for teamwork, working with others, especially you know, in a cockpit of a plane, um, working with an, a, another individual in harmony is something that obviously music in a band is just so critical for. Talk me through what everything like would take the application processes and then also the future I could do after university and seeing what sort of future I could portray myself in. Speaking to the careers department and heads of houses and teachers, I was sort of figured out what I wanted to do. Originally I wasn't really aware about apprenticeships and didn't really know too much information about them. So it was actually a conversation we had after GCSE through the careers team. Um, they really supported me through the whole process, helped me off initially with the applications about how my CV should look, how my cover letters should look. Bergen's had a really huge impact on my life. I've been here since year one and I feel like I've really grown up with the school and they've really held, held a helping hand. And just, I feel like lots of the teachers at Berkhamstead have given me the support that I've needed to grow in such a crucially developmental area in my life. I felt really supported. If you're working in an office, you could be a pilot like myself, you could be working on a building site. I think having good morale and being able to work as a team is something that's so fundamental to every job and I think that Berkhamstead has given me that just so incredibly well. Something that's really special about Berkhamstead is that they offer such a wide variety. Yeah. You don't get this at many schools, being able to, from music to sport. Uh, I've done everything. I've done loads of sport and just even if you're not the best at it, just being able to take part in a team and try to expand your skills 
I think that's what makes Berkhamsted, that was what made my time at Berkhamsted.